Thank you, Senator Padilla. Senator Welch. Um, thank you very much. Uh, there are no two stronger champions of the intellectual property rights of innovators and patent holders than the two leaders of this committee, Senator Kuhn, Senator Tillis, uh, and I uh, support your efforts in that respect. Uh, I do have a different concern that I want to talk about. Uh, it's really important your responsibility to have patents issued timely, appropriately, uh, for innovators. Uh, it's your responsibility uh, to help enforce those patents uh, so that the innovators get the benefit of the intellectual property that they created. Uh, but what I've seen is, in particular in the drug industry, an abuse by patent holders of that period of exclusivity. That is an extraordinary benefit that is provided to the innovator who comes up with a drug. Uh, they get a period of exclusivity, essentially monopoly, uh, and it involves something that is absolutely essential and vital to the well-being of American citizens. But as you know, many of these patent holders then use devices to extend that period beyond the original grant of exclusivity. I just want to give an example of AbbVie and Humira. Uh, that period of exclusivity was supposed to uh, expire in 2016, uh, and in Europe it did. But by creating a patent thicket and using the term of art that AbbVie and its own documents used, a patent estate, they were able to create litigation obstacles to biosimilars and competitors coming on the market at the time that their period of exclusivity ended. And what that meant, I'm just showing this chart, 2016, this is what the price was of the Humera, 1870 bucks. They've extended the patent all the way through 2023. It's now 30, almost $3,200. During that time, there was an extra cost to U.S. taxpayers and uh, folks who are purchasing health care, $19 billion, $100 billion in additional revenue. And where you have a patent system that can be abused by the patent holders and they go beyond the period of exclusivity, it's brutal on the cost of health care for American employers who are providing health care through employment, to taxpayers through the Medicare and Medicare program, and to private payers. Humera in the U.S. is 3000 Right now in Sweden, it's $225, 10 bucks in Germany. So the question I have, and I'm sure this is a concern to you, is what is the ability and the commitment of the Patent Office to stop the extension of that period of exclusivity and monopoly power that has been so consistently abused by the drug companies to rip off American taxpayers, American employers, and American consumers. Thank you, Senator, for shedding light on that uh, critically important issue. As you know, President Biden has made lowering prescription drug prices in America a key is lower. I want to know what you see as the obligation of the patent office to not, on the one side, yep. protect the patent rights of the intellectual property holders. I get that. Yep. But the abuse by the patent holders to extend beyond the period of exclusivity so they can rip off American consumers. So I can let you know what the USPTO is doing in that regard. Uh, you know, certainly patents cannot be extended themselves, the, the actual patent, unless there's a patent term adjustment. We are looking into those patent term adjustments. Indeed, our Office of Patent Quality Assurance is reviewing applications that have the highest risk for unwarranted extensions of the patent term. In addition to this, we issued a request for comment for robust and reliable patents to get feedback on what more we can do, including with regard to obviousness type double patenting. That is one of the reasons that U.S. patents can continue to issue where they don't in well, other countries. Let me just ask yes. this. I don't get it where you get a patent, let's say, for 20 years, yep. and it goes on for 30 years or 35 years. I mean, 20 years is easy enough to figure out. That's when it should end. And there's got to be some 
capacity on the part of our system to deal with that extension abuse. So I'd really welcome some concrete suggestions or legislative proposals you think may make sense to enable you to enforce that side of the patent exclusivity period. Thank you.